I understand you were at Antietam. Yes. A great and a terrible day. I could use your help, Robert. The governor is proposing to raise a regiment of Negro soldiers. I've submitted your name to be commissioned colonel of the 54th Massachusetts Infantry. I mean, I know how much you'd like to make colonel, but a colored regiment? <laughs> I'm going to do it. Dear mother, the men learn very quickly, faster than white troops, it seems to me. They have risked their lives to be here. They have given up their freedom. I owe them as much as they have given. I owe them my freedom. My life, if necessary. One, nine, one, one. I, I can knock something down with this. A million loyal readers want to know what happens when the men of the 54th see action. Ain't no dream. We run away slave, but we come back fighting. A million and one. Marching is probably all we'll ever get to do. And they gotta know that nobody's gonna let them fight. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> let you take your regiment out to fight. But when? Just as soon as I can write the orders. I'm asking myself when, when, oh Lord, it's going to be our time. See, the way I figure, I figure this war would be over a whole lot sooner. If you boys just turn right on, on and you let us head on up there where the real fight is. Listen, hold on, hold on, hold on. You should have seen us in action two days ago. We were a sight to see. Freedom! 